What's going on and what's up with it, YouTube? It's your all-time favorite host, Rebuke All Devils. And on this edition of the Rebuke All Devils radio show, we have a dirty cop, man. Can you believe that there? Check this out. Busted. On-duty NYPD cop sold fentanyl, heroin out of Yonkers' apartment. Fed say. Shout out to David for bringing us this story and there go little mama right there. A, a former New York police officer was among two people charged with conspiracy to distribute drugs last week. And she do not look like the type that was selling dope. But you know, you know, you can't judge a book by its cover, right? <clears throat> you might see her and think she's a good cop. And turns out she's not that good of a cop at all. Man, let's get into the details. News.com has learned that Cesar Martinez and former NYPD officer Grace Rosa Baez was were arrested on the drug charges Thursday, October the 19th. Oh, my goodness. According to the United States Attorney's Office in the Southern District of New York, the couple operated a drug dealing business out of their Yonkers apartment. Between October 9th and October 19th, Baez and Martinez had multiple conversations with a confidential informant, CS for confidential source, about wholesale narcotics trafficking, according to the U.S. Attorney's Office. Court records indicate that Baez, 37, and Martinez, 42, allegedly offered to sell kilogram quantities of fentanyl, heroin, and cocaine to the CS on October 11th. Baez allegedly told the CS that she could sell two kilograms of fentanyl for 30000 per kilo, 400 grams of heroin with the price to be set later, and would supply a sample of fentanyl to the CS. Baez allegedly told the CS that the fentanyl was top quality before setting up a meeting on October 16th. On that date, Baez met with the CS close to an apartment in which she and boyfriend Martinez lived. Oh, that go the dope. A sample of fentanyl was allegedly hidden in the candy container by U.S. Attorney's Office, Southern District of New York. So that's the fentanyl that she hid in the in the Mentos container. Wow. According to the U.S. Attorney's Office, during the meeting, Baez handed the CS a plastic candy container that allegedly contained fentanyl. A photo and evidence shows a small clear bag filled with the white powdery substance that later tested positive as fentanyl. The next day, Baez allegedly asked the CS to meet her in Yonkers where she handed the CS a bag filled with the white powdery substance that authorities say later tested positive as heroin. Look at that. Look at that. A bag of fentanyl labeled 640 Manzana. Man, her ass is in trouble. The attorney's office stated that Baez told the CS that she had more heroin available for sale and gave the CS phone number to Martinez. That same day, Martinez called the CS to negotiate the sale of one kilogram of heroin and 800 grams of fentanyl. According to court documents, Martinez spoke on, on phone with the CS saying he could sell them one kilo of heroin for approximately 25000 and another 800 grams of fentanyl for a price to be negotiated later. On October 18th, Baez and Martinez, Martinez allegedly further discussed a potential sale before selling on 400 grams of lesser quality heroin and another sample of fentanyl. Look at that. Bags of drugs that were seized by the police. Man. The next day, the suspects allegedly met with the CS in Yonkers. There, they handed the CS packages containing suspected narcotics, including one kilogram of heroin, 400 grams of heroin, 640 grams of fentanyl, and another package of fentanyl, according to the U.S. Attorney's Office. After the couple was arrested, Police went to their apartment and reported finding packages of drugs that appeared to have been thrown outside the apartment. They also allegedly found a kilogram press machine and other drugs inside the apartment. Baez had been employed by the NYPD since 2012, though she was working desk duty at the time of her arrest. Previously, Baez was moved to modified duty after she was accused of misconduct. Oh, man. According to the attorney's office, Baez engaged in some of the alleged illegal activity while on duty. 
NBC News reported that Biaz resigned from the police force on Sunday, October 22nd. Grace Rosa Biaz took an oath to protect and serve the people of New York City. As alleged, she flagrantly violated that oath by pushing poison, including fentanyl and heroin, which are driving the nation's deadly opioid crisis and have been responsible for thousands of tragic deaths in this city and around the nation. My office and our law enforcement partners will continue to aggressively pursue those peddling these deadly poisons, no matter who they are, U.S. Attorney Damian Williams said in a statement. Biaz and Martinez are each charged with conspiracy to distribute fentanyl and heroin and three counts of narcotics distribution. Both face up to life in prison. And on this episode of How to Throw Your Life Away. <laughs> <laughs> Drop your comments down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Don't forget to click on that notification bell. And I'll catch y'all on the next episode. Peace.